All right, so now that I showed you in the close up how to hold a pick, let me give you a nice picking exercise that is going to help you kind of develop that feeling for the pick. So in this lesson, what we're going to be doing is developing a nice feeling for the pick. And with our left hand, we are going to be um, practicing coordination between both hands. So the picking hand has to talk very clearly with the fretting hand and vice versa. And this exercise is going to help you really get a nice feeling for that. So let's get into close up now and let me show you my favorite exercise for just focusing on picking and also focusing on the left hand playing those um, single frets which is going to also be very very useful for you once we get into playing scales and um, starting to improvise. So let me get in the close up now and demonstrate that for you. All right, see you there. All right, so welcome to the close up. So it's going to go like this now. With my left hand, I'm going to be starting on the third fret, sixth string. And what we're going to do now is we're simply going to be using one finger per fret. So that means my first finger is on the third fret, my second finger is on the fourth fret, my third finger is on the fifth fret, and my pinky is on the sixth fret. And with the pick, now that we know how to hold the pick properly, we are going to be playing a downstroke, then an upstroke, then a downstroke, then an upstroke. Okay, so that was the fifth string, uh, sorry, the sixth string, and now we're moving on to the fifth string. So starting again on the sixth string, we're just going to go down, up, down, up. And one thing that I want to note here about the left hand is that you don't need to keep this finger down once you come down with the middle finger. See that? You don't need to do that. You can easily play this note, then release this finger, then play this note, release this finger, so that you don't have a lot of tension in your hand. Okay? All right. And again, the right hand, the picking hand, is just going down, up, down, up. And it's just, it's just chilling there and playing those notes. Again, I'm not going deep in with the pick. I'm trying to just hit the surface of it, as we already learned. And I'm holding it at a slight downward degree, so not flat slightly downward, okay? And it's gonna take you time to get used to that. It's just good to kind of plant these seeds um, into your mind so that you, with time, um, perfect them and master them. So, and we're just gonna do that now on all of the strings. So I'm just going down. And now once I reach the bottom, what I'm going to do with my pinky, I'm going to slide one fret up. And again, I'm going to continue with my right hand doing the down, up, down, up. And now we're just going backwards. So I'm starting with my pinky and I'm going pinky to the ring finger, to the middle finger, to the first finger. And I'm repeating that motion upwards. Again, this is going to be great for your coordination between both hands. Plus, it's a great exercise for this hand and a great exercise for the right hand, getting that picking nice and smooth. Okay, so one more time to recap. I'm just going to play a little bit faster now. We're just going to go. Once we reach the bottom, one fret further up, and we're just going to go backwards. Again, with the right hand, keeping that down, up, down, up motion. So you see now I'm on the fourth fret. Once I reach this fret, I'm just gonna go one fret up again and just continue. Okay, and then you could also go back. So you can tell I've been doing this for a while. Um, and if you practice this every day as I did for years, you will with time also be able to play it this fast and smooth. So. Practice this exercise. It's a really great exercise. Probably every guitar teacher in the world uses this exercise since it's really um, very useful and effective. 
All right, so that's the finger exercise. Let's move on to the next course, uh, to the next lecture. All right, I'll see you there.